What you guys got another video? Protect yourself against data loss right now with the Terramaster F4 425 Plus. This is the brand new offering from Terramaster. It's a four bay hybrid NAS, which we're going to take a look at. This is what you can expect to get inside the kit if you're purchasing this particular NAS. Get some stickers here and your warranty card and your start quick startup guide here. You're also going to get a plug depending on what country you're in. This one's a UK, so we've got a UK plug. And we've got an Ethernet cable right here. And we also have our power adapter uh, right here. So all we need to do is just plug this all together, plug it in, put your Ethernet cable in straight to your router and turn it on and set it up. I'll show you how to do all that in this video as well. So let's take a look at the brand new network attached storage device itself. So let's put all this to one side and take a closer look. So this is it right here. Now I'm pretty sure the outer casing is made of aluminium or aluminum if you're in the states terramaster have now added a usb port on the front which is very very useful indeed we also have some led lights here we've got four bays on this particular network attached storage they come out pretty easy made of plastic uh, tallest design here these will take three and a half inch drives and they'll also take uh, two and a half inch ssd drives if you wanted to or mechanical drives if that's what you want to put in here but basically yeah it will take both of those this little plastic thing will just hold the drive in you just push it in and clip it into one place if you're using a two and a half inch you would use the screws and screw that down to the actual drive itself so that is the actual caddy itself made of plastic uh, the front fascia is made of plastic as well and so is the rear so we're going to take a closer look at the rear which is where all of the main ports are for this particular device now when this network attached storage device is fully populated it can have up to 144 terabytes on the rear we do have that exhaust fan here speed of this fan can be adjusted as well it does run pretty quiet i must admit when i powered it on we've got a reset button right here as well to reset your actual network attached storage device if you needed to we have a hdmi port if you want to put in a monitor onto this you can do right here and below it we have two uh five gigabit ethernet high speed ports on here as well which is a really nice addition uh, to this model below that we have another two usb type a ports on here as well which you can use for extra uh, storage if you wanted to plug in more devices into this you can do and below that we have a type c uh, usb type c port on there as well and the power input for this device is at the bottom of that so let's take a quick look on the bottom of the nas here and we'll see uh, what it looks like now there's going to be some anti-slip or anti-vibration feet on here as well and there's also this air vent right here to allow some air circulation we have four screws on here to remove these four screws this will allow you to gain access to inside the actual network attached storage where you can upgrade and put drives in and things like that this is all the drive bays out so you can see inside here full aluminium chassis on there as well and you've got your back uh, area where you're going to be plugging into your drives into so that's what they're going to plug into so we're going to remove the screws here and i'll just quickly remove this so you can see what the motherboard is and how much upgradability this little device has so with these four screws now removed you can just lift the unit completely out of the chassis of this unit and this will give us a look at the terramaster's new pioneering design uh, featuring three m.2 slots inside this actual nas as well which is going to give you four bays on the front and three m.2 uh, ssd slots on the actual unit as well which is going to be plenty of storage and it's a brand new design and you can see here there is the base right here which can be populated and these support 2280 uh, nvme drives for this particular uh, unit here now i will be doing another video hopefully and testing the speeds of these to see what sort of speeds you can expect once we populate these drive bays unfortunately i didn't have any drives left to test so i would need to purchase these and test it at another day you've got 16 gigabytes of memory on this actual unit as well this is ddr5 uh, ram on here and the 425 plus is powered by the intel n150 quad core processor up to 3.6 gigahertz as well so you're getting a pretty decent 
all-round system. You're getting that increased network speed with those two 5 gigabit Ethernet ports, plenty of storage. These M.2 slots will take up to 8 terabytes each and four SATA drives which you can put in the front which will take up to 30 terabytes each as well. So this can provide you massive amounts of storage for all your media and your growing data needs. So for 4K video presentations, this is going to be perfectly fine. You can store all of your photos and you've got the AI powered photo management on here. And this is going to be great for identifying your faces, your pets, your objects and your scenes, your holiday photos for effortless album creation, ensuring privacy without cloud uploads to say Google Drive and places like that. You've got your own storage right here in your own home to suit all your privacy needs. Now also you've got comprehensive uh, backup solutions with this unit as well. It's got features for your backup needs like Drupal backup and TerraSync multi-device sync and also cloud sync recovery. And you've even got snapshots for your ransomware protection on here as well. So you can secure all your data quite safely on this device and access it anywhere in the world. And you can see we do have uh, inside here, I'm not going to strip it right down here, but let's go ahead and get this set up here. Pretty straightforward stuff. You can just set up the page right here for your quick installation guide. You can just select which model you've purchased. They do plenty of different models. This is brand new from TerraMaster, so hopefully it's listed right here. But again, it's a four bay uh, drive solution here. So we can go ahead and take a look and you can see F4425 plus that's the actual model number. Put in your email address and click start. There's an installation guide video right here as well. And you can download the TNAS uh, mobile app if you wanted to download that to your phone. And you can set it all up via your phone if you want to. It even shows you some pictures here to show you what you're going to be doing as you're setting it up, which makes it super easy for people that have never set up a network attached storage device before. And I can guarantee you, if you haven't had one before, once you get a, a network attached storage device, you will never look back. You can share and access data all over the world. And TerraMaster have been getting better and better every year. Their products are just getting better. And this is a very competitive market that we're in uh, right here for this particular model. There's plenty of other uh, players in the game which these are going up against. And TerraMaster have been around for quite a while. Uh, so, you know, they're a pretty decent product at the price point that they're pitching their network attached storage devices at. So let's take a look right here. So we're now getting to the uh, end here. It's going to initialize our, our TNAS via our computer. We can click on this little link right here and this will open up a browser and take us straight to our tnas.local right here you can see it will search for that and you should see something looking like this and then all you need to do right here is you can click start now before you purchase your drives make sure you check the disk compatibility list right here it will give you a list of drives that are compatible with this particular device you can click on this link right here and it will give you a full list they also have this all listed on their website but you can see Western Digital right here, Seagate, Samsung, SanDisk, Kingston, Crucial, and a bunch of other ones here as well. So once you know you've got the right drives, these are Iron Wolf drives I have in here. We can now click Start, and now we can click on Begin. And it's going to go ahead, and it will get a few things ready for us and prepare those drives ready for the operating system so we can boot up and have a look at the actual desktop there. It's going to give you a warning and say all the data on these drives are going to be erased. So just make sure that you are not using drives with data on them because they will completely be erased uh, on the system. So let's go ahead and click begin. And it's now going to prep the drives and get them ready for us. Now you can find a little place in the corner somewhere near your router. Plug this into your router and uh, tuck it out the way and it will be good to go. It will sit there. Uh, minding its own business and you can access it from all your PCs and your mobile phones. It's super easy and again you can use it as a media center for like Plex Media Center if you want to use that uh, and set it up as a server to put all your stuff on there you can do. You can set it up for all your photo albums, back all your phones up to it, back all your computers up to it. There's tons of stuff you can do. If you've got a security system in your home you can store all of the footage 
on here as well. So all you need to do here at this stage is pull down the uh, EULA and accept it by putting the check mark in and click on confirm to say you agree to their terms and conditions and you can now set up your super user settings. So this is going to be the device name that will be visible on your network. You can just give it a name as TNAS, which it's done right here, or you can call it something completely different, which is more recognizable to you. All you need to do then is just move on and put a username and a password and confirm that password, and you should be pretty much good to go from there. So let me go ahead and set this up real quick, and we'll move on to the next phase. You can set up a security email right here, put your email address in. They will verify you by sending you a code. You can paste it in here and click next. And you will be then at the desktop right here. And all you need to do here, you can go through the tutorial part or skip it if you've used a NAS before, but basically go through and it will then start to set this up uh, for you. It's done all the hard work for you. So you've got your volume getting set up here. It's done all the hard work for us. It's setting it up as BTRFS, as you can see. And you've got your storage pool right here, and that's synchronizing as well. And it's setting this up as a T RAID right here. That's because we only have two little drives in here for testing purposes. But again, if you've got loads of data, uh, loads of drives on here that you're putting in, it's going to take a while to synchronize and get all that ready. So be patient and, and let it do its thing. And then you'll be able to set up your storage and everything else after the fact, what you ever want to uh, set up on your system. So you can see you've got your USB copy right here. You can plug in a USB device into your uh, uh, network attached storage and use that as well. The security advisor right here, you can see it's showing up a lot of red stuff. That's because it wants you to go through and secure it. So it's all nice and green like this, and it will take a bit of time. Just work through them and get it all nice and uh, secure. And once you're done, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, this is your menu up the top here where you've got all of your features. You can see we've got the security advisor right here so you can access it. You've got the search feature, and this would just open it back up right here. Inside here, you've got your file manager. You can see it's open up Drupal backup here. Once you to install this and download it and get it installed on your system so you can start backups straight away. And that's always advisable if you don't have any backups of all your precious data it's always good to have it in three different places. That way, if you lose one of the drives or whatever, at least you've got backups in other places. Now, you've got all your control panel right here. This has all access to all of the areas like storage pool volume and your yeah, virtual disks and things like that. You can gain access to this just like you would on your computer. Super simple and super easy. And uh, TerraMaster have uh, done a pretty good job on this particular OS. It does look quite nice. You've got your Docker manager right here, your App Center, uh, Jellyfin on the end there, your e terminal. Uh, the App Center is where you're going to download and install all the apps that you want to use on your uh, NAS. You can see right here we have plenty of them. TP, uh, C, Backupper, you've got Cloud Sync, you've got Docker, you've got Drupal Backup. You've got a bunch of different ones here. TNAS for Linux, TNAS for Windows, and TNAS for Macs as well. Macs as well. So you've got all of the operating systems there. You've got your photos here for all your photos. You've got your VPN server here, your MB uh, server. You've got quite a lot. Plex Media Server right there as well. And again, you can go to the Community tab as well. Now, the Community tab are community-driven sort of apps where they created them themselves. Just check the feedback on them to make sure everything's good because they are created by the uh, community and not by TerraMaster. But there is tons of them on here, literally tons. And you can go through here and there's going to be some really good applications on here uh, for this particular uh, NAS. So I'm not going to go through those in this video because it's out of the scope of this video. But again, check them out. You've got VirtualBox there. You can see you've got your back backup. A button right here for all your backups if you want to set those up and we also have some other uh, buttons on here as well which is your control panel which we just looked at and then when you look across right here to the next one we do have support and help this is where you can put your name your email your phone number and you can put generate a report and they will then get back to you You've got debug here and stuff like that so a pretty good uh, all-round system uh, if you're looking for 
Uh, more information on this, I'll try and leave some links in the video description. On the flyouts on the right-hand side, you can click on these and it will give you more information about the unit itself as well. Now, for pricing, I really don't know because they haven't given me that information just yet because it is a brand new item and it hasn't been fully released yet. This is just an early access so I can review it. It was sent for review. All opinions are my own. No money's changed hands and no one is reviewing this content before it's released. Anyway, once all that's done, all you need to do is set up a user account if you want to set up more user account, user groups and then share which folders you want. Very simple, just like you would do on Windows and give it permissions and things like that. Super easy. If you want to see a full in-depth video on how to set this up security-wise and set it all up for different users and groups, let me know in the comments section down below. As for reliability, I've been using one myself and I've also got one in a family member's house running and it's on 24 7 and it's been running flawlessly for a couple of years no problems whatsoever so anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i'll leave all the information in the video description just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the next video or i'll catch you on the discord server links in the video description bye for now